Hello friends, this video on molecular basis of inheritance part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now with our basic idea on DNA and RNA, now that having known that DNA is the genetic material, however RNA also plays a very important role uh, for genetic transmission. So now we are going to talk about the first step towards understanding the uh, concepts of inheritance at a molecular level and the first step is replication. So let us see what is replication. As I mentioned before also the term replication means nothing but to create a copy of something like how you uh, create a Xerox copy. In a similar way replicating the genetic material because if the if, let, let us suppose that if a couple is giving birth to a baby, so when a baby is born, baby also needs a genetic material in, it, in himself or herself. So from where will that genetic material come? It will come from the parents. So now the parents should have an extra copy to give it to the baby. So that means the replication has to take place inside the parent's body wherein they can create a copy of their genetic material and then pass it on to their kid. So in simple terms, replication is nothing but creating a copy. So replication is the process of reproducing or creating a copy of something. And what is that something? Now here we are talking about uh, the inheritance concepts. So that something is nothing but the genetic material and the genetic material here is DNA. So creating a copy of DNA is replication of DNA. Now in those organisms where RNA is the genetic material, for example the viruses, so there it, it will mean similar or uh, the it will have the corresponding meaning with respect to RNA. So it is like creating copies of the DNA. So now the question is how does DNA replicate? So now we all know that it is very easy to create copies of our nodes. I mean you can just give it to uh, the put it into the Xerox machine and you just get multiple copies of the same nodes but how does a DNA replicate DNA is a double stranded complicated structure with uh, uh, complementary base pairing sequences so how does it replicate how does it create an exact copy of itself so this is going to be a very important process and it is also going to be a very important concept to understand so let us try to understand replication of DNA. Now as far as the process of replication of DNA was concerned, different scientists came up with different thoughts. Somebody said that the, the process, the way DNA replicates is a conservative way. Somebody tells that DNA replicates in a semi-conservative way. So different people came up with different thoughts. So one of the most prominent thought was given by Watson and Crick, yes, the same uh, scientists who discovered the double helix structure of DNA. So they suggested the semi-conservative DNA replication model. However, again, this also had lots of doubts, lots of questions from other scientists, but still it was given a thought and then it was proved by one of the experiments performed by Messelson and Stahl. So they performed an experiment and showed that yes, DNA replicates in a semi-conservative way. So what do we mean by semi-conservative DNA replication? We will see that very soon. So as per this model, what, did they, what they said was that the two strands of the DNA which we see, like this is one strand, this is another strand. So the two strands of DNA separate and each of these strands act as a template for synthesis of new strand. Now what do we mean by template? Now please understand this properly because now we will be using the word template quite often as long as we are talking about uh, replication or transcription. So everywhere you hear this word template. So template means uh, the original copy of something based on which the, the new copy is going to get created. For example, when you go to uh, the uh, Xerox shop or when you go to a photocopy shop, what do you do? You, you have to give your original copy in order to get a photocopy of the same, right? Now, if you do not have an original copy, then the photocopy, what photocopy will you get, right? So the original copy is required. So here, these template, template actually acts as the original copy and based on this, a new copy is created. But in this case, 
since dna has this speciality of complementary base pairing concept so the new copy which will get created will not be exact replica of this copy but it will be complementary to this copy so let us suppose these are the two strands one and two so what as per the concept of semi conservative dna replication it means to say that the strands one and two will get separated from each other now strand 1 will act as a template based on which a new strand will get created so maybe a new strand will get created here right let us just assume that a new strand is getting created here and that is strand 3 but this strand 3 is not going to be exact copy of strand 1 this strand 3 is going to be complementary of strand 1 Right. Similarly, based on strand 2, a new strand will get created, which will be strand 4, and that will again be complementary of strand 2. So as a result, what will happen? 1 and 3 will be complementary of each other, so they will form a double stranded structure. 2 and 4 will be complementary to each other, so they will also form a double stranded structure. So the result will be that you will get two copies of DNA. So initially you had one DNA with two strands. So now you have two DNAs and you have a total of four strands. So this was the concept of semi-conservative replication. Now you might ask why was it named semi-conservative? Because, now what is the meaning of conservation? To preserve something, to keep something intact. So semi-conservative, semi means half. So half of the strand was the original one. So if you see here, this was your parental strand. This is the parent. This was the original thing which you had, right? Now, if you look at the new things which you have, so you have two new, one is this, one is this. But if you see in both the new DNA, half of the DNA is exactly the same as was present in the parent. So that is why it is semi-conservative. So half of the thing has been preserved and the, half of the, and the rest half of the thing have been synthesized newly. So that is why it was named semi-conservative DNA replication. So here each DNA molecule has one parental strand and one newly formed strand as I said. So 1 and 2 are the parental strand in both the DNAs and 3 and 4 are the newly formed strands. Now this was not the only hypothesis which was proposed that time. There were other hypotheses as well regarding DNA application and some of them were the conservative DNA replication. So as per conservative DNA replication, it said that the complete DNA molecule acts as a template for new synthesis. So as per this concept, it, it, as per this model, it said that there is nothing like the two strands separate. The DNA will remain intact and the entire DNA molecule itself will act as original copy and a new DNA molecule will get synthesized. So it just did not talk about one strand old and one strand new or anything like that. And that is why it was not semi-conservative but conservative DNA replication. So as per this, from one DNA molecule, you will directly get two DNA molecules. So th this was one hypothesis. Another hypothesis which was uh, uh, given was dispersive DNA replication. So what was this? As per this, the new DNA is synthesized in short pieces. So it is like, it is not that the entire DNA molecule will act as a template or it is not that one strand of DNA will act as a template. It is like the DNA molecule will replicate itself in small pieces, something like this. If you look at this picture, it will become more clear. So if you see here, some portion of it lengthwise some portion will be a part of the parental strand, some portion will be synthesized newly. Again, some portion will be parental strand, again, some portion will be synthesized newly. So here, whatever you see in brown color, that is the newly synthesized part. And whatever is there in black color, that is the parental part. So a part of the old strand is attached to the end of a newly formed or newly synthesized strand. So this portion is newly synthesized. This portion was parental. Again, this portion is parental. Again, next will be newly synthesized. Again, some portion will be parental. So it said that the DNA got replicated, but the replicate, replication happened in such a way 
that in both the copies some part was parental some part was new again some part was parental and some part was new so this was another hypothesis which was given so these were some of the hypotheses that were given now some of the whoever gave whichever hypothesis they obviously supported that so people were all in confusion because there was no concrete proof to show that which is the right hypothesis how exactly the dna replication happened thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.